We got some Jimmy John's today. Uh, I need to preface, this is my least favorite sandwich shop. I would rather eat at a Subway in 1996 than eat at Jimmy John's any day of the week. But I'm not going to let that deter me because this could be a delicious sandwich somehow. So I learned of this because Alex Buning, my good friend, sent me a video uh, showing it to me. His laptop screen was so clean when he sent it to me. Yeah. So here we are eating it. Now they're calling this the firecracker wrap. Um, I've never had a wrap from Jimmy John, so maybe it's gonna taste good. We're gonna find out. But right off the bat, all right, this is what is in this. So there's turkey, salami, ghost pepper cheese, crushed fire jack, firecracker Jimmy chips, garlic aioli, Jimmy peppers, lettuce, onion, tomato, mayonnaise, oil and vinegar, and a red jalapeno, jalapeno, that's the word I misspell or mispronounce, I can't talk. Tortilla, double mayo. So I got this without the garlic aioli, which is mayo flavored with something, and then mayonnaise. I've never had any of their wraps before. That is gigantic, I will say. We're gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna stab it. Why doesn't Jimmy John's cut anything? Try not to be infuriating. All right, it, honestly, it doesn't look that bad on the inside of it. Normally, my, one of my, my least favorite thing about Jimmy John's is that they put like all of the meat and cheese on one side of your sandwich and all of the toppings on the other side of your sandwich and they serve it to you in just hard, awful bread. This is not that. This is well distributed in an awful looking tortilla. So there is a little bit of a difference here. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. I'm not gonna lie. There's supposed to be ghost pepper cheese, right? Yeah, ghost pepper cheese, jalapeno, and then there's chips. I don't know if the chips are in here. Nope, the chips are here. This might be delicious, who knows? All right, let's just dive in, see how it is. All right. Cheers. Took down half of it. Now, I gotta say that whenever I, I do these like fast food, spicy items that fast food restaurants, or the fast food restaurants are putting on their, their menu, I always appreciate the fact that Burger King, McDonald's, or Subway, or Jimmy John's, or whatever, whatever coming out with a new spicy product because that's just raising awareness for spicy food and getting more people to eat spicy food and increasing the reach of the hot sauce and spicy industry in general. I love it when fast food restaurants come out with these new spicy products. Now, that being said, this is absolutely terrible. Um, I hate it when they come out with a lazy gimmicky version of that and that's 100% what this is. Um, this is really not good. One, okay, I will say that one of them, one of the reasons why it's not good is part of my own fault. This came with like this garlic aioli and it came with this mayonnaise. This is a very like acidic vinegar forward sauce or sandwich, wrap, whatever the heck this thing is. As I was eating that first half of it, I was trying to do it like envision the fact if I had like avocado or something on there, like would this change the sandwich? Yes, it absolutely would. I mean, you know what this tastes like, you know, like, it's a poor, it's a bad fat, it's a bad fast food tortilla. You've all been there and you've all had that experience. There's no crispiness from the chips. I'm detecting no heat in the cheese. Like the, there's a, this jalapeno wrap that we're talking about. There's no flavor or heat of the jalapeno. It's red for some reason. And there are red jalapenos, but I, tell you, I, I guarantee you like, this has just got red 40 or 20 or red whatever number it is to make this the color red. The only heat for, is coming from these pickled jalapenos in there. That's the only heat that I'm detecting right here. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, it's a turkey wrap with jalapenos in it. There was some little bit of heat going on or like an attempt at making this a ghost pepper firecracker wrap, which is what it's called, then I'd be into it, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with them putting their best foot forward and, and attempting to make something that is going to be enjoyable for people that like to have a little bit of heat. But I just find this to be a very lazy way of doing it and how can we use whatever's in the restaurant to try to jump into this spicy trend that's happening. So I just think it's a really lazy uh, version of that. My, uh, my dislike for Jimmy John's continues. All right, have you had this wrap? Am I completely wrong? Please tell me if I am wrong. Uh, did I screw up in any way other than I obviously did not get the mayonnaise and the aioli that is on this because that is a personal preference of mine. Um, I do think that would have helped. So if I could have added like avocado or something like that, I would definitely would have done it. But let me know if I'm wrong. Have you had it? I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there. 
and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.